Hello, welcome to One Moment Wiser. This is Christy Bridges, and Nehemiah and the Israelites told God, help, we're in slavery all over again. And in their prayer, they committed to obey God. Nehemiah brings up two major spiritual areas in which we can end up in bondage, in slavery, or we can end up in freedom, depending on if we're disobeying God or obeying the design of our Creator. Well, one of those areas is marriage. God said, marry someone for whom I'm the center of their world, someone who follows me. Uh, the other area is Sabbath. God said, I want to be at the center of your world and it'll keep you safe. Verse 31, Nehemiah says that the peoples of the land bring in goods or any grain on the Sabbath day to sell. We will not buy from them on the Sabbath or on any holy day. And we will forgo the crops of the seventh year. They're going to let their crops rest every seventh year. And the exaction of every debt, every 50 years, they're going to forgive each other's debts. Well, you know, we think that's a step of faith, right? But God says, don't fall into the more trap. We can think if I work just a little more, I'll have a little more money. But then we have more stress and we eat more fast food. And then we see more that we can afford. And so we buy more. According to Northwestern Mutual's 2018 Planning and Progress Study, the average American has $38,000 in personal debt, not counting their houses. That's the more trap. God's pay is better. He says, take your eyes off of work and things and focus on me and what's important one day a week. And every so often, take a sabbatical. You'll find peace you never imagined.